Although Noah Webster taught students that our form of government could not survive unless we kept godly, God-fearing people of faith in office, doesn't the security of our particular form of government really depend upon the people rather than upon their representatives? After all, in a democracy, aren't the people the most important aspect? This is part of our problem today. We think we're democracy. We're not. Recall, when we pledge allegiance to the flag, we pledge allegiance to the Republic of the United States, not the democracy of the United States. While few today can define the difference between the two, there is a difference, a big difference. Our founding fathers had an opportunity to establish a democracy, and they chose not to. They specifically chose to establish a republic. In their minds, we were not and were never to become a democracy. Founding Father Fisher Ames declared, A democracy is a volcano which conceals the fiery materials of its own destruction. These will produce an eruption and carry desolation in their way. Founding Father Benjamin Rush was equally pointed. He noted, A simple democracy is the devil's own government. Founding Father John Adams stated, Remember, democracy never lasts long. It soon wastes, exhausts, and murders itself. There never was a democracy yet that did not commit suicide. So strongly did the founders oppose a democracy that when they created the Constitution, they included a provision to keep America from becoming a democracy. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution requires that each state maintain a Republican form of government. A Republican form of government as opposed to a Democratic one, that is, to be a republic, not a democracy. What, then, is the difference between a democracy and a republic? Noah Webster explained that difference. He told students, Our citizens should early understand that the genuine source of correct Republican principles is the Bible, particularly the New Testament or the Christian religion. The difference between a republic and a democracy is the source of its authority. In a democracy, whatever the people desire is what becomes policy. If a majority of the people decide that murder is no longer a crime, in a democracy, murder will no longer be a crime. However, not so in our republic. In our republic, murder will always be a crime, for murder is always a crime in the Word of God. It is this foundation which has given our republic such enduring stability, for since man does not change, he continues to need the same restraints he has always needed. It is the rights and wrongs revealed in the Bible which have provided those guidelines for our republic. You are